Dribbling with the sole of the foot is used when you are backed up into an opponent and it wouldn't be practical to use the inside or outside of the foot as this would allow the opponent to steal the ball. Using the sole of the foot keeps close control of the ball and keeps it away from the opponent. Dribbling using the sole of the foot is only used in tight spaces where keeping control of the ball takes priority. Now let's take a look at coaching this technique step by step. Step 1. Position your body between the opponent and the ball. Step 2. With the sole of the foot, move the ball so that it is away from the opponent and close to the body. Step 3. Use the sole of the foot to dribble into space to transfer to dribbling using the outside of the foot. Or hold the ball to wait for a chance to pass to a teammate. Now let's look at how to demonstrate this skill to your young players. Now let's look at some common mistakes young players make when performing this technique and solutions on how to fix them. Common mistake number one is when the young player uses the wrong foot when dribbling the ball with their sole. An example of this is when the player is moving to the right using their right foot instead of the left. This is an unnatural movement when dribbling the ball with the sole of the foot. A solution to this is to encourage the player to use their right foot when dribbling to the left and to use their left foot when dribbling to the right. This is a more natural movement and keeps the ball under control and away from the opponent. Common mistake number two is when the young player dribbles the ball too far out in front of their body. This makes it easier for the player to lose control of the ball and allow the opponent to tackle or gain possession. A solution is to encourage the player to always keep the ball close to the body, just out in front, which makes it easier to maintain close control and not lose possession. Common mistake number three is when the young player dribbles the ball when it is directly under their body. This results in the player tripping over the ball and their own feet as they attempt to dribble. A solution to this is to encourage the player to always dribble the ball out in front of their body so the ball is clear of the path that they're dribbling into.